A little tip about using room tone and crossfades to cover up an edit to make it seamless. Welcome to the very first Behind the Edit. Short videos picked out of edits that I'm currently working on. Tips, tricks, techniques, different things I do in my video and audio editing. This series was inspired by the video that I'm currently working on. A little extra attention to detail can separate your edit from being an average edit in something that is really good. In this case, it's a seamless edit so that people don't notice that there's an actual cut there. There are certain things you can do. So let's take a look at what I did in this edit to help with your editing. So you can see here, I have a gap, a break in the footage and the audio. I needed more space between these two sentences and it's covered up by B-roll right here so you don't see this gap. And you can see here, I have a couple different things going on. You'll see this piece is here. Let's mute this and then I'll explain it. And then let's take away this fade and take a listen, see if you notice anything. Mixer that I've actually tried. And I asked B&H. One more time. That I've actually tried. And I asked B&H. So if you can hear that, you probably need headphones. There's a noticeable gap in the audio. We're missing, it's just a dead spot and it creates a gap in the playback. And so the first thing I've done is this piece here, you can see all that is, is I went back to grab some room tone, a part of the audio where I'm not talking, yet there is room tone. This is room tone. You can see a little bit of stuff going on down here. And so what I did is I duplicated it and I brought it over here to this gap on another track. And then I brought up the audio a little bit, a few dBs and Let's listen now. Mixer that I've actually tried, and I asked B&H. Not as noticeable. You shouldn't really get that sensation of losing the audio. Let's do it again with that disengage so you can hear it without it. I've actually tried, and I asked B&H. Actually tried, and I asked B Actually tried, and I asked Then with it engaged. I've actually tried, and I asked b and So there you go, just a little room tone your ears expect not to lose the audio completely. So even if you don't notice it, subconsciously you do when it's gone. So I put that in there to fill that gap. That's why recording room tone is fantastic, but oftentimes I can go and just grab it out of a piece of audio where I'm not talking. Now the other thing you saw was this sort of fade on the end of this clip. And if we listen to it without the fade, that I've actually tried and I asked, you can hear my breath sort of go out and then it comes back here and it adds to that sensation of something's just not quite right. So I'm just going to command T for my default transition here, which is constant power, in this case a fade. And I'm just gonna add this in and listen to it now. Mixer that I've actually tried and I asked being. So the breath right there has a really subtle drop off that's imperceptible when we put that fade on there. But when we don't have it, it's just something not quite right. So those elements together make the edit much better and seamless. All right, if you like this new series, make sure to well, give a like, that'd be cool. This is the necessary evil like, subscribe, but seriously, subscribe if you want more of this. If you wanna be notified, hit that little bell so that you don't miss new videos. And of course, if you do none of that, ask questions that you have in the comments. I'll see you next time.